Banter signature tune. <laughs> I say, you fellows. Hello, Banter. What again? Yes, but nothing. Nothing? Yes, that beast crotch made out I hadn't done my lines. So I told him I did do them, but they blew out of the study window and he wouldn't believe me. So then I told him that, that I'd lit the study fire with them by mistake and he still wouldn't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> Best if I can see the cacklat. That's the kind of justice we get here, you know. Still, I'm jolly we're going to get my own back on Quelch. I'll teach him to what me for nothing. What are you going to do with that egg? That's for Quelch. What? what? My esteemed idiotic bunter. I'm going to chuck it at him. You mad ass, you'll get set for chucking things at four masters. Well, you just can't chuck things at beaks. I'm going to do it from behind. You'll never know it was me. Oh, don't be a fathead. Keep that egg for your tea. I've got plenty more. I can tell you I can spare this one for Quelch. I'll jolly well teach him to call me untruthful. Chuck it, Bunter. I'm going to. Oh, you fat ass, I mean drop it. If I drop it, it'll break. Oh, fat head, I mean chuck it, drop it, don't do it. Quelch, what me for nothing, and he's jolly well got it coming. Shut up, Bunter. I shan't. I say, you fellows, can you imagine Quelch's face when he gets this egg squish on his nose? Quiet. Quelch. I don't care for Quelch. I say, can you imagine Quelch's expression when he gets this egg squash on his boko? Bunter. <laughs> oh, cried he. I overheard you, Bunter. Oh, Jiminy. Is it possible that it was your intention to throw that egg at me, your form master? Oh, no, sir. I, I was just... <laughs> I was just joking. What? I, I was just having a li little joke. Oh, I trust that is so. For were it not so, I would take you straight to your headmaster to be expelled from Greyfires. Oh, yes, sir, of course you would. Oh, I, I wouldn't blame you, sir, if I did it, did it, a, a thing like that. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't do that, sir. It was just a joke. <laughs> I often have a little joke with the chaps. Oh, really, Bunter? <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, this little joke is going to cost you an extra 200 lines. Oh, Lord. Blow oh, that beast quelch. Oh, crikey, I say, you fellas, and I've dropped my egg, so I can't buzz it at him now. Now what am I going to do? Oh, I know. What about a tomato? What about a tomato? Well, I, I suppose Quelch would know it was me if I buzzed an egg at him. But if it was a tomato... How <laughs> about a boot? A boot? Now you know a boot. Uh, yes, a boot round a cross. Yes, a oh, boot. Oh, yes, I didn't mean that kind of boot. What do you think? Oh, 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 Bunter, where's the clothes brush? Oh, oh my, oh my hands, my knees. Fancy leaving a hassock for a fellow to trip over. God, I'm like so good. <laughs> How dare you? I say, sir, I, I don't want you to think I was, uh, I was laughing at you, sir. I wasn't laughing at you because you were not out of your deck chair. I... Bunter, how dare you hurl this hassock at me? I go, me? 
wretched boy. Only a short while ago, I warned you of the consequences of such an act. Oh, but sir, I... I no, 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 never did it, sir. I wouldn't, I couldn't, I... Gunter, I, I shall now be compelled to take you to the headmaster and request him to expel you immediately. Oh! Oh, Lord, sir, I never Come, did it! Bunter. It wasn't me! Oh, oh, Christ, he... It's almost unbelievable that a boy of this school could be guilty of such an act. It is unheard of. Mr. Quelch, I take it that there's no doubt that it was Bunter who flung the hassock. None, sir. I actually heard him telling a number of removed boys that it was his intention to hurl a missile at my head. Bless my soul, Bunter, you wretched boy. Oh, it's not true, but sir. What? You dare to cast doubt upon your former master's statement? Oh, yes, yes, I, I, I jolly well do, sir. I mean, I, I don't. I mean, I do. I, I mean, well, I never said anything about, about chucking a wristle at Mr. Quelch, sir. No, I never even mentioned the word wristle. It was an egg. An egg? You intended to throw an egg at your form, Master Bunter? Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, oh, no, sir. No, certainly not. I, I, in any case, sir, I dropped it and I couldn't. Whether you intended to throw an egg or a hassock at your form, Master Bunter, is immaterial. Oh, thank you, sir. Can I go? Stay where you are. William Bunter, you are expelled from Greyfriars. Mr. Quelch, take the boy to the station and put him on the first train for his home. Certainly, sir. Come, Bunter. Oh, no. Oh, no, sir. I, I, can't, I can't go. I, I, can't, I can't be expelled. I, I can't go home in the m m m middle of term, sir. Uh, my painter will kick up no end of a fuss. He doesn't like it much when I go home in the holidays. That will do, Bunter. Take him away, Mr. Quelch. Take him away. Oh, sir! Sir, I didn't! I wouldn't! I couldn't! I Silence, didn't. Bunter! Come! On the fat old duffer to be sacked. Well, Chaplin thinks that the beak's head is rather thick. Well, what could he expect? Mm. And I expect he's home by this time. Mm. I say, you fellows. Bonsai. Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> I, uh, I sort of dodged in here because I heard somebody coming and I, I thought it was Quelch. Well, what are you doing here, you fat ass? You're sacked. Oh, really, what? Didn't Quelch take you to the station? Well, yes, he did take me to the station, but uh, <laughs> I didn't get on the train. I walked back. I say it's it's miles and miles. What are you doing here? You've been expelled, Bunter. Yes, I know. Well, I didn't do it. Have they found out who has it, Quelch, yet? Well, you did, didn't no. you? No, I certainly didn't. Wasn't it one of you fellows? What? what? Well, I mean to say if it was one of you fellows, you ought to own up. I mean to say it's not fair to put it on me if it was one of you. You fat flipper, you must have done it. I jolly well didn't. It certainly wasn't me. I never... Oh, bull. Oh, I say, it's the same with all of you, of course. None of you believe me. How can I hope to convince Quelch when my own pals don't believe in me? Oh, talk about ingratitude. After all I've done for you. Yes, and that includes all our talk. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, hello. That sounds like Quelch. Oh, I say, you better don't let him know I'm here. Uh, is anything the matter, sir? I am looking for Bunter Wharton. Bunter, sir? I isn't he sack, sir? He has been expelled, Jerry, if that is what you mean. But I have received the most extraordinary report from the school porter, who states that Bunter has been seen here since I took him to the station some time ago. Really, sir? Yes. I'm about to search all the removed studies. I'm very glad to see that Bunter is not concealed here. <clears throat> I say, you fellas, that that beast gone? That was Bunter's voice. He is here. He is in this study. Oh, crikey. Uh, Bunter? Oh, oh, it's not me, sir. <laughs> I'm not here. I... Oh, Lord. So, Bunter, Gosling's report was correct. You have returned here instead of taking the train for your home. Oh, well, sir, I just couldn't go home in the middle of term, sir. Perhaps you'd talk to the headmaster. I'm sure he'd understand. Oh, let go. Bunter, I will now take you to the station and not leave until your train has started. Oh. You boys must have known that Bunter was concealed here. You will each take 
one hundred lines. Go. Oh, oh, but, sir, I haven't finished my lines yet, sir. You can't... To the station. Oh, oh Lord. That fat-ass banter. That fat-ass banter. One hundred lines. <laughs> Something. I heard somebody. His hearfulness was terrific. Somebody's here. Some fellow from another dormitory larking, I suppose. I'll give him larks. Yaru! What? Who? Ah, you! I say, you fellows! Bunter! Great pip! Bunter again! Beast! How did you get here? Hmm? Oh, I say, shh! Do be quiet! I mean, do be quiet. Quelch will hear you. I just came up here to sneak into bed quietly. I don't want to bring the whole of Grey Fries up here, you silly idiot. Don't make a row. Didn't Quelch put you on your train for home? Shh! Yes, he did. I got as far as Lantham. And then I, then I walked back. <laughs> yes, and I say, you fellows, Lantham's miles and miles and miles and miles. But how did you get in? Hey? Oh, well, I, I got in through a little window in the box room. I had to stick my elbow through it to, to reach the catch. I thought somebody would hear me. Oh, I say, you fellows, I've had the most terrible day. And I've walked miles and miles and miles and miles. Well, you shouldn't have hassocked old Quelch. I never quasicked old Halch. I mean, Quelch old hassock. I mean, oh, blow Quelch. I'm fed up with him. I'm going to bed. I... Oh, no. Oh, I say, you fellows. They've taken my bedclothes. Well, they weren't expecting you back, old fat man. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, I say, you fellows. It's a bit thick. <laughs> I've had the most awful day. I've walked all the way back from Lantham and all the way back from Courtfield. I've walked miles and miles and miles and miles. And I want my bed clothes. You can have that pillow, you fat duffer. <laughs> What's the good of a pillow without blanket? Yeah. Have this one. So, now shut up, Bunter, and let us get to too. sleep. <laughs> all right for you, fellow. <sighs> Been in bed for hours. <laughs> And there's me being walking miles and miles and miles and miles. Oh. I say, you fellows. Oh, pack it up, Bunter. We want to go to sleep. Well, I say, you fellows, I'm starving. I've had nothing to eat since I got here except a, a pork pie I found in Vernon Smith's study and a cake I found in cherries and some doughnuts and some. Chocolate eclairs and some toffees and a few sausage rolls. You must be famished then. Yes, I am. I say, you fellows got anything up here in the dorm? No. Stick of toffee? No. Bag of bullseyes? No. Nothing? No. no. I've got a pillow and you'll get it if you don't shut up and let fellows go to sleep. Beast. I'm hungry. <laughs> Yes, sir. A pane of glass has been broken in the box room window. One of the boys must have left the dormitory during the night. I trust it was not a boy from my form. Nevertheless, I feel it my duty to ascertain... Who is that boy still in bed? Can it be the troublesome Bunter has returned a second time? Bunter! 
Upon my word, Bunter, wake up immediately. I, oh. Go away, beast. This isn't rising bell yet. Bunter. No, oh, it sounds like Quelch. Quelch. Oh, so I find you here. Oh, no, you don't. Oh, yes, you do. Get out of that bed immediately, Bunter. Oh. So. You have returned a second time after being expelled. You are not to be trusted to go home alone. I shall therefore go to your headmaster and request that he send a sixth form prefect to deliver you to your father. Oh, I say! You need say nothing, Bunter. I shall go to Dr. Locke and I shall say to him... No, no, you I, won't! I, I beg I'm not going to be Bunter, come I back! Bunter, Bunter, oh, Bunter, come back! Where are you, wretched boy? Come, I beg, boys, you will each take... Two hundred lines apiece. Bunter, oh. come back, oh. boy. Where are you, boy? <laughs> oh! Bunter! Bunter! Oh, Lord! Bunter? I say, that's Quelch! What is this door instantly? Do you hear me, Bunter? I don't want to be this sacked! Door. I don't want to be sacked! Will you open this door instantly? Oh, no, I won't! You will you open this door? No! No, I jolly well won't! So, so there! Oh, there he is! Come down, Bunter! You'll never get away with it! Now, what's all this? What are you fags crowding round here for? I say, you fellow, chuck me out something to eat, will you? I'm starving. Cat! Oh? Great Scott, is that Bunter? I heard he was sacked yesterday. So he was, but he's come back. Well, I've never heard of such a cheek. Coming back after being sacked? By gum, I don't know what he was sacked for, but I don't much care either. This sort of thing won't do. Hey, Bunter, you cheeky young sweep. You'd better clear out of that. I say, Coco, will you go away and take your face with you? It worries the chap. <laughs> <laughs> By gum, I've a jolly good mind to go out that ladder and yank him out, cheeky young sweep. Mind your own business, Coco. And take your face away. It worries us as well as Bunter. Do you fags want your head smacked all around? You're asking for it. We'll go ahead and try if you like. The smackfulness may be a boot on the other leg. Oh, boy, 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 boy. Coco. Cease this horseplay immediately. Uh, you, Coca, you will oblige me by ascending that ladder, entering the box room through the window, and unlocking the door from within. Yes, sir. Look here, Coca, you go away. You jolly well go away, Coca. Coca, I give you fair warning. It's fastened on the inside, so it won't open. Well, can you not pass your hand through the broken window and undo the latch? Oh, yes, sir. Ah. So I can. Oh! That young demon swiped my fingers with a stump. He's jolly nearly cracked my knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, stop laughing immediately. Cooker, come down at once. Boys, there's nothing to laugh at here at all. You will go to your studies immediately. Hold on, all of you, to your studies. Quickly. Huh. Now to deal with Master Bunter. Coca, you will come with me and we will force the door of the box room. Yes, sir. <laughs> Jolly good thing, too. Leave a chap in peace at last. Oh, crikey! Bunter. Oh, law! It's Bunter. Quelch! Unless you open this door at once, Bunter, it will be false. And you will have to pay for the damage. Oh, now Jiminy! open this door! <laughs> oh, I'm not coming Bunter. out to be sacked! <laughs> I don't want to be sacked! Coker, break in the door! <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
thank you, Coker. You may leave. Yes, sir. Yours? Yes, mine. I've been looking for it. It's been kicking around the quad since yesterday. I suppose that's why I couldn't find it. I knew it must have dropped near the study windows. I threw it across my study yesterday and it flew out of the window. What? What's the matter? You mad ass! That's the hassock that dropped on Quelch's head when he was sitting outside the study windows yesterday. Oh, my hat! Did it drop on Quelch? Yes, you lunatic, and Bunter's sack for it. Oh, so that's why Bunter's sack. Well, Quelch thinks Bunter chucked it at him. And it was you all the time. Now, look here, Coco. Bunter's up before the head now, and they're sacking him. And as all right, shame, all it? right. We'll soon stop that. <laughs> Oh, I tell you, sir, I, I never did it, sir. I, I never had the old Quelch. I mean, uh, Mr. Quelch, sir. I never call him old Quelch like the other fellows, sir. I'm, I'm far too respectful. That will do, Bunter. You have returned to this school after expulsion. I shall now send you home in the charge of a prefect. <laughs> Take him away, Mr. Quelch. Oh, what is this? Coker, how dare you barge into my study like this? Well, I had to come, sir. I heard you were sacking Bunter, sir. It wasn't Bunter, sir. What is that, Coker? It was me, sir. It's my hassock. You? You, Coker, a senior boy? Then if it is your hassock that struck Mr. Quelch, then Bunter certainly will not be expelled. <laughs> you, Coker, will be expelled in his place. But it was an accident, sir. Accident? Oh. Yes, sir. I happened to throw the hassock across my study and it flew out of the window. And if you happened to be sitting underneath, sir, it fell on your head. Oh, well, of course, if it was an accident... Oh, I... yes, sir. I didn't know you were there, and I've only just heard that that's why Bunter was sacked. It was an accident, sir. Such accidents should not happen, Coker. You will take 500 lines, and I'll leave my study. Yes, sir. As for you, Bunter... Uh, yes, sir. There you are, you see, sir. Silence. I told you it wasn't... You will not be expelled this time. But let this be a warning to you. You've had a very narrow escape, Bunter. You hold it to your own untruthfulness. Oh, I say so, really. That's going a bit Go. far. Yes, I know, sir, but I never... Go! Actually... But, sir, me, I always tell Go. you... Go! <laughs> so we're not losing you after all, old fat man. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. As far as it goes, you know, I'm not going to be sacked. But do you know what Quelch said to me? He said to me, Bunter is dead. You're untruthful. It's all your own fault because you're untruthful. Me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of the cackle at. I think it's jolly insulting. <laughs> anyway, I've got a jolly good idea to get my own back on Quelch. <laughs> I'll show you fellows. How do you think old Quelch should look if he got a tomato squash in his eye? Do you think I could borrow one of these tomatoes? Oh, of course. Yes! I can get Quelch a treat through his study window just now. Now, can you just see old Quelch's face? Oh, a tomato right there. Wham! Smack! <laughs> so you're still thinking of buzzing things at Quelch, eh? Yeah. Do you think it's funny squashing a tomato yeah. on your nose? <laughs> right, chaps, let him have it! <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> 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 